Yes, I said it, and I meant it. Who am I talking about? Who is them? Okay, let's get into it. Them are people who are trying to prevent other human beings from having things in this life or from thriving, living their life the way that they want to live their life. Who the F died and left you in charge? I mean, each person has the right to live their life the way they want to live it, to thrive in this world, just like you do. Who the F died and left you in charge? I'm not talking about children. I'm not talking about anybody under the age of 18 that has a parent or a guardian or someone that is responsible for their well-being. I'm not talking about minors. I'm talking about a whole grown man and a whole grown woman who live in this world and who try to accomplish or achieve goal, a goal or thrive the way that they want to thrive in this world. Who the F died and left them in charge? To tell somebody else what they can and cannot do. Okay, I see this world totally different than the average human being. How I see this world is you have this huge planet with seven continents and many countries within that continent. You have a variety of people who have different religious beliefs, different cultures, different hues, different ethnicities. I'm not going to say different uh, races because that's another human construct. There's only one race, and that's the human race. So anyway, you have a variety of a variety of people that thrive on this planet. With that being said, this, this planet was not created by human beings. This planet was created by an energy of force or uh, an entity that's greater than ourselves. We can call it God. We can call it the creator. People call that force something different all over this world. I'm not here to challenge people on what they believe I'm just saying this world is here for everybody and as long as you're an adult a human being that's trying to thrive in this world not another human being has the right to tell you what you can and cannot do it's not your position it's not your right to prevent another human being from enjoying the same rights that you enjoy yourself. That's a hypocrite. You know, who are you to do that? Example, when I hear somebody say, go back to your country. Um, ma'am, did you create this world? Did you create this country? Did you create this land? Who the F are you to tell me to go back to any place? You are responsible for you. You are in control of you. No human being has the right to stop another human being, whole grown person, from thriving or achieving something in this life. Now, I'm not talking about breaking laws or, 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 or doing whatever you want that's going to interfere with another human being. There are rules, there are structures, there are laws of the land in every civilized society, and people have to follow the law of the land. I'm talking about individuals who are trying to prevent another human being from having a life that they could enjoy, from thriving, from achieving goals. Who the F died and left you in charge? That's what I want to know. You know, we all have that right to do that. And you have people. Now, if you have somebody who you look up to, a role model, uh, 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 someone who you look at as, that you admire and you want to receive advice from them, that's fine. You can do what you want to do. Anybody can have you know, a positive influence over you. If you choose that for yourself, well, we're talking about choosing things for yourself. You have the right to do that, but no one has the right to stop 
another human being from thriving on this planet, especially if they themselves are thriving and enjoying this life. Who the F died and left you in charge of another human being? Or who told you that you, you can prevent another human being from doing that? We have to stop allowing people to do this to us. In our society, we come into this world with no information at all. We, as we grow throughout the ages, people, you learn, information comes into your mind. It is stored into your subconscious mind. And that subconscious mind runs about 90% of your life, 95%. The other 5% is run by your conscious mind. So we've developed belief systems. We develop things that we structure our lives by. And sometimes that belief is in, influenced by other people. And, but it's up to you to take control of your life, not willingly hand it over to somebody else so they can control you like a puppet and tell you what to do. Every human being over the age of 18 that's a man or a woman and thriving in this world has the right to do so. No other human being has that right to take that away from you. They themselves are enjoying that right. What makes them want to prevent you from doing that too? Think about what you believe in your mind, how you have structured your world, how the things that you've internalized in your mind, what you believe, how that may interfere with you allowing someone else to take control over you. Once you can control your mind, you can control your life. 